I got full VIP access to join a La Liga club as they toured the USA. In this video, I'll be showing you what it's like to become a professional footballer and live like one for 72 hours. So day one started with us traveling to San Francisco to meet the football club we'd be joining, Celta Vigo. A first division team in Spain in La Liga with players like Iago Aspas, American international Luca De La Torre, and Peruvian international Renato Tapia. So over the course of the next 72 hours, we'd be spending three major events with this team. Event number one was traveling with the team on their US media tour. Event number two was attending one of their training sessions in person. And then the third and final event, which was the match they'd be playing against the MLS side, the San Jose Earthquakes. The first event was the media tour. So when football clubs travel to the USA, one of their main goals is to help grow the popularity of their club here. To help do that, we'd be linking up with other American American sports teams in San Francisco to help promote Celta Vigo. We'd be meeting up with the San Francisco 49ers, an NFL team, and the two baseball teams, the San Francisco Giants and Oakland Athletics. We'd be traveling to their stadiums and going behind the scenes with Celta Vigo. Starting first with the professional baseball team known as the San Francisco Giants. The Giants are one of the most popular baseball teams in America, and they've won the World Series championship in 2010, 2012, and 2014. We arrived and got full access to their entire entire stadium which is usually regarded as one of the best baseball stadiums in the u.s right so we're spending the whole day with la liga today is going to be baseball stadium i'm taking you guys with me on everything and uh, i think we're about to hit some baseballs now this is a dugout for any of you know baseball where the players sit this is honestly one of the coolest stadiums i may have ever been to and I'm, i love baseball if you guys didn't know that about me i played baseball my entire life i never really played football while we were there we also got to take a few swings in the batting cages and well let's just say football are not very good at baseball. All of the Salta Vigo players got to take a few swings and only a few of them actually hit the ball. Most of them couldn't hit it. On me, on the other hand, I played baseball growing up, so I, I had to show these footballers up. After that, we finally got to go on the field. All right, my swing. My swing is all right. I, I, feel like, I feel like I hit pretty well. Check out this right here, man. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a giant Coke bottle. Thing is in the giant glove. This is, I think, in my opinion, the coolest stadium in baseball, if you know nothing about baseball. Watch the swing. Oh, yeah. I still got it. I still got it. Got some pictures with the players, explored around a little bit. But then it was time to go. All right, that was pretty dope, man. As a lifelong baseball fan, very cool. Ba baseball and football mixing together at one time. I never, never thought I'd do this in my entire life. After the Giants Stadium, we went to the 49ers Stadium, which is an American football team in San Francisco. While we were there, we got to see football players try out American football. And let's just say, well, they weren't so great at that either. It was actually surprising that some of these footballers struggled to kick field goals, which is the only part of American football where you actually kick the ball. We followed the team around the stadium, getting a full tour, checking out some of the Super Bowl trophies, signing autographs, and so much more. We then traveled to the Oakland A Stadium to go to an actual baseball game where we'd be on the field right before the game with Celta Vigo, watching Luca De La Torre throw out the inaugural first pitch at the game fourth and final event of this media tour was my personal favorite we'd be heading to one of the most iconic landmarks in the entire usa the golden gate bridge to do a photo shoot with celta vigo as they showed off their new kits you always see these kit reveals online so it was very cool to be a part of one and see it in person even if the golden gate bridge was quite possibly the windiest place i've ever been to <laughs> were incredible though it was one of the prettiest places i think i've ever been to in the entire world we got some pictures with the players hung out behind the scenes for a bit watching the photo shoots go down and then we had to leave before i blew away second day was right before the football match the team had a training session where we would be watching behind the scenes before we left to go to the training session though i gotta talk about the hotel that the players were staying at real quick now i didn't take many videos of it but it had to be one of the best hotels i've ever seen in person five-star hotel that cost up to five thousand a night to stay in yeah it, it was just crazy we then got to go to training where we would be with the club as they went through workouts drills and more i was honestly mad watching how hard pro footballers work in their training sessions seeing this up close 
is an experience that I feel like very few people ever get to see. After training, I got to interview a few of the players, including Luca De La Torre and Renato Tapia, but those are interviews that you guys will have to wait to see. And then we had to head back, get our rest, because tomorrow would be game day. It was an hour drive from the hotel in Oakland to the stadium in San Jose. We finally made it and got a full tour of the stadium. Let's do it. We made it. This is it. Match day, San Jose earthquake, Celta Vigo. Got to check out this pitch. Come on. Let's go. Wow, man. Oh, my. Look at the mountains. That's crazy. Really weird how the stadium works because you it's like a U-shape. So you have seats going around and then basically nothing. I guess supporters over there, maybe, would you say? Supporters, probably? Beer drinkers. <laughs> yes, that. So we're going to be on the pitch during the game today. It's going to be very, very cool. Hopefully, we get a lot of goals. Very unique stadium, I would say. Where are our suites at? I would love to, like... These are our suites. Is this where we're... Wait, actually, this is it? Oh, uh, up, <laughs> up there. Okay, yeah. I was like, I'll take a seat right here tonight. This is... Wait, this is... Wait, this is where the players sit. What am I saying, right? I'm a player. Put me in, man. Put me on Celta. Let's go. Sign me up. I'll be the second American on Celta. All right. Well, let's see what else in the stadium we got because so far, man, it's been pretty incredible. This is the away training room. Check this out. What I actually don't even know what these are for. You just take whatever boots you want, I guess. These are my favorite, I think. I go with the Predators. Those are nice, man. Adidas boots. All right, let's go. Follow me. More boots. Can't get enough football boots. This is the away locker room. This is where Celta's. They're not here yet. We're here like four, five. They just turned the music on us. Right. Let's show you guys the room. Here we go. This is the away locker room. Hopefully not. Not a lot of players end up in here, but stretch before the game. Cool. All right, locker room, let's go. Right, probably not up to the same standard as the home locker room, but that's always how it is, right? It's the away team. The kids are being laid out right now. Look at this, man. Do you know what number he is? Diago Aspas, number 10. This is the man right here. How many do you think he's scoring tonight? I'm gonna go dos. Dos colasos. Quantos colasos, Iago? Quantos? Quantos? Iago, si. Muchos. Mucho? Uno, dos, tres, tres. Dos. You heard it here. That's what I said as well. Two goals for Iago. Let's go. All right, we got the. So that's where the tactics are going to be written tonight. Wish they were up there right now, but... So we got the coach's room. My Spanish, obviously, is not great. I'm trying my best here. This is what an actual away locker room looks like in MLS. It's pretty crazy. I guess when we're just showing off the stadium today. PayPal Park. Little fan area back here. About a million food trucks. Standing room. I actually really like this. Like, grass in your seats. Pretty cool, right? Right behind the net. Any San Jose fans out there, let me know the best place to sit in the stadium. I think we're going to try to find the best and worst seat today. Shout out to my man Henry behind the camera. Yes, Let's sir. go! <laughs> Vamos! Let's check out the worst seat in this stadium. The worst seat's not even gonna be bad, I feel like. So let's see what it looks like. MLS, all right? We get a lot of hate, but we're unique over here, man. What Premier League stadium is out here looking like this? None. Maybe now we can None. see the mountains. Yeah. The airport's literally right, right there, so you have the, the planes flying in as well. All right, top seat. I'm out of breath. It, what do we got? 29 something. I shouldn't be out of breath, man. It's not even that high up. For a worst seat in the stadium, pretty good, I would say. I need you guys to give me a rating of this stadium. One through 10 in the comments. I'm not, I'm gonna wait till the game's over to give my rating. It's up to at least a seven right now. It's gonna get better as, as we see the crowd move in. The stadium's awesome. We got sweet access for today's game. Pitch side sweet access, some burgers, you know, the whole American food, right? Now this is what we wanna see right here. This is it. Iago, you would expect him to win this. Most viable player, San Jose. Celta Vigo. That's awesome, man. That's very cool that we're holding that right now. Match ball. Is this the, is this the La Liga ball for this year? Yeah. Wow. Pretty sure this is the Celta bench right here. I mean, you guys are gonna see the POV tonight, but can you jump in here? Sorry. It's my man. Uh, jump in, here we go. Can we get- How you doing? We need a score prediction for tonight. Can you give, can you I give the, say, the people a score prediction? Do you have to be polite? No, no, be honest, man. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think? I would say, oh, four. Four nil Celta. That's it. I haven't given mine yet. I'm gonna go three, one Celta. Six nil Celta. <laughs> yes, all right. There's the prediction. Come on, boys. Feel the grass. Oh man. Football grass never ceases to amaze me. I don't know why I haven't done this at the other stadiums I've been to, but I need to do the Ronaldo celebration in the corner. Goal score. <laughs> Let's go. Lifelong dream fulfilled. <laughs> Vamos. Let's go. All right, we're testing our luck here. We're just walking. I mean, we have all access, but we're just going to walk out on the pitch. Why not? Full 360. If anyone's from San Jose, man, you guys do it all right over here. We'll see how the game goes. I got to see how you guys' fans are first. I can't properly rate a stadium until I see the atmosphere because that plays a big role. But so far, you guys are doing great. I think we pulled these off, man. Let's go. This is the new good. This is the new outfit to the club, I think. We got to start partying in these I things think, or uh, something. Gu Gucci just dropped their new line. <laughs> it's exclusive. Let's go! 
Walked out with the players. That's pretty sweet. Here we go. We got a fan here in the building. You're, you're a Quakes fan. Yeah. All right, we need a score prediction. What do you got? Uh, I'm going to go 1-0 Celta Vigo. 1-0, dude? My team's I cash. <laughs> So we're pitch side watching warm ups. This is actually so cool. Right behind the goal, as players are ripping shots. I need, I need, I need to get one on camera right here and see it come straight at my face. Oh! oh. Right, hold up, here we go. Oh! Oh my God, dude! Oh, this is crazy. It's a good save. I, need, I want a shot to be ripped like shh, right here in this corner. Ready? That was a nice finish. Go. We got a ball, boys. Can I keep this? I'm keeping it. League of ball is nice, though. All right, I'm a last here. Here we go. You want that? Oh. Go. Let's go, boys. Players walking out. It was then time for the match where we could go pretty much wherever we wanted. We started sitting behind the goal where Celta Vigo scored the first goal with us right behind the net. Yeah, we should probably get out of the way. I'm going to get out of the way. I don't want to stand. Actually, you know what? It doesn't matter. We're standing right behind the goal. All right, here we go. All right, one nil. Let's go. That was so cool, right? Right behind the goal. Yeah, I think I had to be on TV right there. San Jose scored to make it 1-1. And after that, we ended up moving to sit in the owner's box right behind the bench. I was literally sitting next to the owner of Celta Vigo and could hear the manager and players discussing tactics right in front of me. These seats felt like I, I was an actual player sitting on the bench ready to be subbed on. While you're there, saw the players getting subbed on and off, but the match did eventually end 1-1. After the match we met some fans watched the players sign a few autographs and that was it there it is we're wrapped up 1-1 final score amazing game you gotta say a massive thank you to Celta San Jose Earthquakes as well for having us out it's my new favorite Spanish team you guys want always want to know who I support it's Celta Vigo thank you guys so much for watching see you guys later peace